sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us. To nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil and one day become home to the American farm. Humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use of and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Mixing leaves. 
minerals and other living materials into our soil, we can make farmland more free without the need for chemicals. How will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Resources like water, fertilizers, and pesticides. 
A number of the Bayesian network is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants early, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce soundful harvests for our growing population. And you just yes, do that before scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect the precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratory. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the behind-the-scenes walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the best and growing techniques in our laboratory. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes in and we stop.